Hi, I'm Drew Conry Murray from the Pack of Pushers. Uh, welcome to the Glueware live stream. In this segment, we're going to discuss how you, a network engineer, can make an automation business case to executives so you can get that sign off and get those dollars you need for the project. I'm joined by Rajiv Kanalkar. He is co founder, president, and CEO of SecureView, and Jeff Gray, CEO and co founder of Glueware. So, Rajiv, can you give us a quick background on what SecureView does? Sure. So, uh, basically, say I founded SecureView in, in 2007, and our goal was be, uh, to basically help organization take the most out of their security infrastructure. We are owned by a $20 billion foundation. Uh, what we do is we focus on security. We help people get best out of the security. Uh, we have delivered over 500 security projects over the last 10 years, four by seven SOC. Not only just uh, people often mistaken as Cisco partner, but we are multi-vendor. We have done a lot of projects in the area of NAC in terms of helping digital transformation, helping uh, bringing digital resiliency. So that's what we are. Thanks. Great. So Jeff and Rajiv, how does a network engineer who knows automation is going to be a benefit to the organization? How does he communicate that value to upper management, particularly when engineers are used to communicating in technical terms um, that may not mean much to, say, a CIO? I'm so glad you asked, Drew, and it's great to be here. Hello, Packet Pushers audience. There are six ways that we speak with CIOs, and what we find is that the champions in the customers that can speak this way can not only get funding for their projects, but they can actually engage in global transformations. And the network engineer's brand goes up, their, their worth to the company and the value skyrockets. And it is incredible how far some of our champions have been able to take both their companies as well as their careers. And every day, CIOs come into the office and they feel that when they flip on the light switch, the lights are going to go on. However, every day CIOs are nervous about the network going down. And so if we can tap into making this better, creating more resiliency, more security, and more compliance, and the ability to, to spread changes, then CIOs will listen. So <clears throat> number one, manage supply chain issues. Every CIO has supply chain issues today. We're all dealing with it. Every, every company is dealing with it. Number two, enhance security. So if you can go out and enhance security and be able to automate up OS upgrades and create more compliance and extend the cybersecurity automation from firewalls and security devices throughout the network, there's big value there for companies. Number three, preparing for digital resilience. These are some Actual numbers, 0% defect change after four years at MasterCard in a global pharma, reducing 350 OS versions to a single version uh, per architecture, ending up with about five versions throughout the entire company. 99% of global changes in less than 24 hours at First Republic Bank and 90% less time troubleshooting. So if you can wrap automation around everything and create much more resiliency and allow the business to compete at a higher level on business services, you will catch the CIO's ear. Rajiv, anything you want to mention on this slide? Yeah, definitely. I think digital resiliency is often um, now overlooked by network engineers, though they are aware of it. And, uh, you know, in these days of ransomware attacks, how ransomware attacks happen, it's because of some left in your configuration or some uh, vulnerability left in your network devices, that's what opens the door for hackers to send somewhere. And digital resiliency is all about capturing uh, your network infrastructure, making sure that it is protected, uh, your network infrastructure, so there are no, so automation becomes even more important. And that's what we saw working with Google Glue. We can eliminate, uh, basically these uh, manual errors and bring digital resiliency. Super. So we'll go to the next one. So number four, ways to talk to your CIO, doing more with less. We had a, a big four tax and audit uh, firm go, go public uh, for us, and they shared that they're seeing a 50 to one time and cost savings. So being able to do more with less, especially as we're going into a down economy, can, can, can increase your brand. 
Uh, number five, easily maintain compliance. We talked about that briefly. And number six, eliminating downtime to be able to drive growth, accelerate hyper automation and really transform first the network to be able to then transform business services. So this is a big number, 80% reduction in major network outages Terracon shared ever since they implemented Glueware. So once again, this is about making everything at the base layer solid to allow the business to compete in, in the market and you will capture the CIO's attention. Rajiv, anything you wanted to mention on that side? Yeah, sure. I, I think the digital transformation, as you hear, it's at the top of everybody's mind. And particularly since COVID-19 hit, uh, everybody has accelerated uh, digital transformation initiative. But I think, let me, let me tell you, you guys are all aware of it. Yeah, and that is with digital transformation, there are a lot of app, apps being built on your mobile phones, on your mobile devices, and it requires constant upgrade or changes uh, to the network. Uh, which allows you to access uh, your resources like applications and data. And therefore, these changes have to be done frequently, but flawlessly. And this is where I believe that if you can provide a use case where digital transformation is linked with the network, add moves, changes, and security reliability, more power to you. And this is where we have seen a huge value with Glueware. Okay, so maybe let's bring up the next slide because this is gonna sort of walk through helping a network engineer to be able to go up to the business and demonstrate, here's how we're gonna get time to value, which for an executive is probably more important than say like, oh, I can do more upgrades more quickly and more safely. And and I agree, Drew. And so so this is a, a, a few of the keys to why, why Glueware versus building automation in pockets and, and never getting that to the business and economic decision makers. If you build a business case that's not based on three years or three and a half years or four years, but you can start to deliver immediate time to value, it's possible to capture attention and, and gain mindshare and, and, and budgets. And so, so in the first one to three months, being able to roll out the out of the box capabilities and, and leveraging a partner like SecureView uh, to be able to roll out and get out of the box functionality delivers immediate impact. So security audits, compliance, patching, and then starting to turn the monolithic configs into policies. Number two, the three to five months, the ROI added back to the business. This is based upon four cash flows, and we will work with you to help you create this into business speak. One of the things that Greg Farrow had mentioned before, uh, as we were talking a while ago, is that is that it's it's much harder to get business people to speak technical. It's much easier to get technical people to start to speak business. So this is a key to really unlocking unlocking budgets. So four cash flows: one outage reduction, two uh, lower maintenance costs, three operations efficiency, and four new build efficiency. Then, as companies like SecureView go and help you weave the tapestry of automation, go up the stack. Uh, in terms of chat ops and Slack and building the R the RPA workflows, there's ongoing efficiency gains. And then finally, six months and ongoing, you can start to deliver new business services and allow the business to be able to compete on a grander scale in the market. Yeah, so Jeff, what I'm seeing here is that, you know, based on some of the other conversations we've had uh, in this live stream about the actual technical capabilities. So for instance, we talked about being able to do config drift. We talked about OS upgrades. Those are the technical elements, but you're providing a roadmap for uh, a technical person to say, let me translate that into language that's going to be more meaningful to someone who's looking at the books. That is absolutely correct. And, and Rajiv, as a, as a fellow CEO and been in the business for a long time, could you share how SecureView is also helping accelerate as, as part of this in a partner relationship? Absolutely. I think if you if you are network guys, right, your network experts, architects, you know, uh, networking at the back of your back of the envelope, you can very quickly do it. But, and but I think where we can help you, we can help you build a business case. We can help you with how to architect and implement Glueware either in a start with a single site or multi site, or it could be even extended to on prem, cloud, hybrid cloud new device onboarding. If you have a lot of devices, that takes a lot of time and that's the burden we can take on while you can focus on innovation and think about new ways of enabling digital transformation and digital re resiliency. And lastly, as a company, 
we have a lot of experience of customization, creating custom audit reports, or there are devices which are not currently available in Glueware, we can help you write those APIs so that that data is available. And more importantly, build network RPA and workflow, workflow creation. So these are some of the things we can help you with so that you can focus on more interesting things in terms of innovation and making your business earn more money. So Rajiv, what I'm hearing you say is that SecureView as a partner can not only come in and help on the technical side, help on um, business processes and so on, but you can also work with partners to say, here's how to build a business case to actually get this project off the ground. That's good. All right, so let's wrap up. We'll get the last slide up. Uh, thank you, Jeff and Rajiv, uh, for joining us and for talking about how uh, technical folks can start to begin to speak the language of business to help get the budget and the sign-off they need for automation projects. Coming up next, we're going to hear about a new feature. This is the Glueware topology. We'll be talking with Kevin Irwin uh, from Glueware and Ethan Banks from the Packet Pushers. That should be coming online in just about 20 seconds.